Oh, we have some very exciting packages, as you can see, and I am so excited to share it with you. I recently got the MacBook Pro as well as the Vision Pro, and I am so excited to share with you both. I have been playing around with both of these for a few days now, and honestly, they have changed my workflow. You know what, enough of me holding these boxes, let's just dive into the product. This is so exciting. Oh, and I gotta put it down. Okay, give me a sec. Let's start with the new MacBook Pro 16 inch. So this is what I got, I am, it's on my lap right now. I am obsessed with it. I've been playing around with it for a few days and I wanted to release a video sooner, but I also wanted to wait until my amazing uh, Vision Pro arrived so I could do this together because on their own, they're absolutely incredible. There's no doubt about it. But I thought it'd be a really fun video to combine them and show you them individually, but then how you can use them together, which I will definitely be doing. So a little bit of the hardware specs for what I got. So as I mentioned, 16 inch in space black. For the chip, it's the Apple M4 Pro. I am so excited about this. Some interesting stats around this. So the M4 Pro is up to three times faster than the M1 Pro, which is kind of wild and hard to wrap your mind around, in, in my case anyways, because I feel like M1 Pro was already really fast. For memory, I have 48 gigabytes and I'm just super excited to start building with this. Some of you may remember a while back, I started my machine learning post-grad course and this is an online program I am taking and it varies semester to semester based on the scheduling. For this one, for me, I am doing this semester compact. So it's basically my entire weekends are taken up with it. But I am so excited about the timing of this because it actually starts this Saturday. And now I have my new, my new baby to be building on, which I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to be using this to build from start to finish uh, different models, running different models and just putting it to the ultimate test, which I know it, I mean, based on the specs, it's going to fly through with colors. So I'm very excited about that. So you're gonna see this computer a lot, a lot of building, a lot of machine learning uh, happening on this. So I'm very excited. Actually, speaking of machine learning and building on this computer, here's some interesting information about it. For this computer in particular, they're really talking a lot about the powerful neural engine, which makes essentially AI tasks like video processing, image editing, also even doing things like I'm going to be doing, which is running models or creating them. It makes it so much easier and faster, which is key. And I'm very excited about this. So that I think to me was one of the big differentiators in my case as a builder, as a coder for this computer in particular. So very excited to dive into it. This, it's gonna be really fun. The other thing that we have to mention here is Apple intelligence, not to mention Apple intelligence. This is something that has become intuitive to me as I've been, especially for things such as writing emails or messages. I am not the best at grammar. That's, that's something that's an understatement. And prior to using Apple intelligence, I'd have to use other applications. So what I would end up doing is flipping between a few different pages from writing an email, copying, pasting. I've actually even seen, this isn't me, I did not do this, but I've actually seen this person needs, needs Apple intelligence and clearly does not have it yet. Because I've seen, uh, I've seen someone who was using one of these you know, chatbots and they copied it, but you know how the bottom of some of them, it's like, is there anything else that you would like me to do? And this is how I summarized it, was using a friendly tone. And anyways, it's, it's the AI asking what to come next essentially, right? And the person forgot to remove that part in the email. So then I got that as well. It's just like, okay, so you clearly were going for friendly, but for professional tone, it was so, so funny. Anyways, you don't wanna be that person that it's obvious you're using AI, even though everyone's using it. So this has been a game changer for me. All right, but I'm not gonna start building on this until we put on the Apple Vision. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, I was kind of waiting till closer to midway through the end of the video to put on the Apple Vision Pro because I am like, I'm very pale, as you know. So even just like touching my skin, I get marks. So I'm gonna put it on, but when I take it off, don't judge me, because there's gonna be marks. It's gonna be like a goggle mark, because that's just the way I am. All right, this is really cool. One of the best things, or one of my favorite things, I should say, about Apple Vision Pro, aside from the obvious, which is thing, using it for things that would take up a lot of space, now doesn't. Especially, you know, I live in a condo. When you think about things such as even watching movies, honestly, I didn't think I would use it so much for things like that, like simple kind of daily, fun things, but I do, and I really love it. But more importantly, when I say more importantly, because you know, work, gotta pay the bills, is how I now use it combined with my MacBook Pro for working, especially for things like coding or writing emails. Now I have a great setup behind me, I'm not saying that, but oftentimes I end up going to my co-working space to work where I don't wanna spend money to rent a 
room to, to do another setup or anything like that. So this setup with my Apple Vision Pro is super key because it's, you know, I have my computer here, I have my Vision Pro on and I'm good to go. Let me show you. Actually, before we get to the Vision Pro, I wanna share with you one more really cool thing. So I am someone who, you know, I'm sharing with you all my flaws today, who is someone who always forgets their phone. I don't even actually know where my phone is right now, which is always bad because I miss a million calls and I, I don't know, I never connect it to my computer typically and it's lost, it's, it's a whole thing. Now though I started to use iPhone mirroring, it changed my life. Like literally, I'm not being dramatic. If I could be the cho poster child for this, I would. Let me show, okay, I feel like we're getting really intimate here because this is my actual phone I'm showing you. I feel like we're getting intimate. Say hi to Paul. Yeah, this is my vision for 2024. I'm not gonna go through it. I don't need to explain myself to you. It's good. Do I have 30 missed phone calls? Yeah. 44 missed text messages? Yeah. I mean, that's not, I'm sure you have some too, okay? Anyways, so you can see here what I use this for a lot for mirroring, other than the obvious, which is messaging and going through different kind of apps on my phone. I really like using it for video editing. So I use a lot of times CapCut, and let me bring you to CapCut. Um, okay. So here's CapCut, you can see I have some projects. I edit in CapCut, I mean, what are the dates on this? Let me see. Uh, two days ago, no, yesterday, day ago. I mean, in the past two days I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus projects going on. I love it, I think it's a great tool to quickly edit on. So let's go to new project. One of my biggest problems or challenges though I face with CapCut, I think it's a great app, but it does have a few flaws. One of those flaws being I find, I was trying to do more, I signed up to their pro, you can see I'm paying for it even. I signed up for their pro account and I was editing on my browser, just that that's a version they have instead of using your app. And I thought, this is great. You can't use the app on your computer, but you can on your phone. But I have so many large video files on my computer. I just want to use, you know, their option in the browser. The problem with this, using it in the browser, I don't know if I'm the only one who faces this. I hope not. It takes forever to export. I mean, forever. Now, what I can do is I can simply go into my finder, drag and drop the file right into a new project and start editing. And it is as simple as when I edit on my, my application, my phone. And I don't know, it's a game changer for me. Then when you actually go to export the video, it will be on your phone. So it is literally mirroring your phone. Whatever you do will be mirrored back to your phone. This is a game changer for me. I don't think it's gonna do me any favors though, as far as being more organized and finding my phone because I don't need my phone really anymore. But I think it's really cool and it's very, very useful for things like editing, for other applications as well. I mean, I mainly find that I use it for editing, but there's so many other things you can use it for, which is pretty cool. Here we go. I'm so excited. I'm sorry you had to hear that, but I tried one of these a while back and I was blown away, like literally blown away because it's one thing when you see it online or see how others are using it, but when you actually experience it and how immersive it is, it really just, it blew me away. And it's something that um, I don't know if you can really fully experience unless you try it. So if you live close to an Apple store or are in a city with one, go try it because it, it just will change everything. Okay, first things first, let me get it on here. So I am in now and I can still see you. Well, I can't see you, but I can still see the camera. I can still see everything around me right now. If I go into my apps, essentially I can see all my apps, but I still can see my surroundings, which I love. It makes me, I am someone who typically gets a little bit motion sick and I do not with this, which is amazing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to go into my control center and I'm going to connect to my MacBook Pro. Okay, one sec here. Okay, so you can see right now I am recording and I'm in my control center, which is pretty cool. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to, and I'm controlling this with my eyes. So I'm gonna go to the third one here, Mac virtual display, connect to Tiffany's MacBook Pro. And then you can kind of see me, it's not the best setup uh, having my camera right in front of me, but still, it's, isn't this incredible? Now you can see my really messy office, that's my wedding dress right there, uh, and green screen, this is the reality. But anyways, it's pretty cool. So I'm in Cursor AI, you know, you can see here, look up at different things. This is a new computer, obviously, that I just showed you, so I still have some things to install. But for example, if you wanted to use any kind of prompts to help you with building, it's right there, it's very accessible. 
But look how big this is, it's so freaking cool. And now this is actually acting as a tab. So you see here on the bottom where my eyes are, you can move it to wherever you want. So now let's exit out of the code, which is really cool to be able to code like this. I think it's just, I don't know, it's wild to me. Um, now what let's do is let's go into our app. So let's go exit and then let's go apps. And you can see here our different applications, which is really cool. The Encounter Dinosaurs is kind of mind blowing uh, how realistic it looks. I watched it again today and it's just incredible. So that's really cool. And then if we go back here, uh, we have Apple TV. Okay, so this is a video I watched called Submerged and it was actually Apple Vision Pro Immersive, which was so cool. Uh, but you can see here, the graphics are just incredible and it's so easy and user friendly. Let's exit. How intuitive it is. Like it's so intuitive. My messages. You can see here, I sent uh, Paul an image of me. That's a terrible photo. There you go, you're getting all the thing. And my family one as well. I think that was what I sent them. All right. Whew. Okay, I just took them off. I told you I would look wild after taking them off, which I definitely do. Don't worry, it's the outro of this video. I hope you enjoyed it though. I wanted to do a fun, candid take on why I love these products so much, why I'm so excited to continue building with them. And I left all the specific specs down below so you can check them out as well. I, you're gonna see a lot more of these, especially the MacBook. Pro uh, M4 Pro, I mean, and the, the Vision Pro, we gotta make an appearance a few times with this because it's so amazing. But I really wanted to share it with you, uh, especially because I'm going to be building so much with it that you're gonna see it in all my videos. And now you know the why, the what, the where, all the good stuff. Anyways, all right, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all very soon. Thanks everyone.